Hello, my name is Ari David, and this is Destined for Failure, the Twitch stream where I play Destiny badly. We're on season two of Week of the Splicer, and there's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm gonna dispense with the preamble and get right to it. Cody, what is up? I see you repping the chat. Congrats on the child. He announced in his Discord, Cody just had his second kid. And congratulations. We're talking about that over over in the amazing Ari Discord. Okay. You're awake, you swear, you swear. I imagine you're not gonna I imagine you're gonna be awake a long time. Hello flower. Alright, logging in. I didn't even log in yet because sometimes this early in the season stuff happens. Alright, Iron Banner's back. Yay, Valor. Override the moon. Report to the helm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go talk to the Mithrax bot. I finally found a ship that I like enough to replace the other one. That I've been using forever. Matches my space bike. And then my space goes. And I, uh, I, have, I got to turn my, uh, I'm using the new transmog system. So right now, these are ornaments. I have everything but the Warlock Bond. Transmission but that's logs from the Deepstone Crypt Raid gear. Right. Um, hello, Eyes of Sin. Welcome. Um, I'm gonna go pop. Oh, oh look, it's all the regulars. It's Cyrus. all my peeps. I'm sorry, I've been infrequent. Um, turns out that, like, when you're vaccinated, people want you to go outside and do stuff in, like, physical space. So I've been, like, seeing... I've been in proximity to people. Because um, I'm fully vaccinated now. Which, I mean, I gotta say overall, I highly recommend y'all do. Um, mostly because not walking around with sheer panic when you go outside is really nice. Um, most of New York City is still wearing masks because we're not, despite what people think. Well, no, we are assholes, we're just not idiots. Um... I'm glad to hear that, Sin. Uh, I believe you're, I don't wanna, um, I don't like blowing people's spots up. I just try to keep track. I think you're in Illinois, right? Um, I don't know what's going on in Illinois. In New York City, they are literally, they are literally throwing vaccinations at people. We went for a walk in the park on Saturday. That's unfortunate to hear, Flower. I was hoping Canada would continue to be better than us. I mean, you got, I mean, you folks are. Canada is. But, like, uh, I was hoping you all... I was hoping to hear, like, nah, Canada's done. We don't have COVID. It's gone. It's gone, eh? Um, I'm glad to hear that, Artistic. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, congratulations on getting your second shot. So my, back to my story. So Saturday, uh, I live right by Prospect Park in Brooklyn, which is a very nice park. It's the second largest park in New York City after Central Park. And it's the one, um, Vanguard Warlocks it's the one, like, park that uh, New Yorkers like going to. So it's very full, like, Prospect Park, but it's not full of tourists. It's full of locals. We send the tourists to Central Park for the most part. Um, nothing wrong with Central Park, but um, I rep Brooklyn because that's my borough. Um, so anyways, the point of this whole story was uh, that on the uh, street corners, literally like at the entrances to the park were vaccination centers uh, sponsored by the city. So my local tax money went to, to pay for this. And they're like, 
Hey, want to get vaccinated? Just sit down in this fold-out chair. We have doctors that are all in plastic and gloves and protection, and they've set up pup tents. And we're like, yay. Yeah. In New York City, we're throwing the vaccine at people, like, with dark guns. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, I'm sorry that the access is such an issue. Um, I understand that the vaccine has a really bad expiration date. Um, but uh, yeah, happy to report New York City did not take this lightly. We're, we're pretty good right now, honestly. A whole, a whole big chunk of the city's vaccinated or in the process of. And even, even then, we're all still wearing masks on public transit. Most people wear masks outside still. So. Yeah, well, we were hit off guard like the rest of the country. So when it began, everybody was like, New York City's dying. It's a clusterfuck. And like a whole lot of people left. And, you know, everyone gets panicky. I just remember telling Lady President, New York City's fine. New York, this is the, this, the fucking COVID? That ain't gonna be the thing that brings New York City down. And uh, this weekend kind of proved it. I went to Prospect Park and the only difference between that and pre-COVID was that people had masks. It had the same capacity. Everyone was running around having a good time. There were the same amount of animals and kids. It's a regular Saturday. There just happened to be like vaccination pop-ups along the way to be like, oh, hey, have you, are you stupid? Would you like to not be stupid? We can make you not stupid, which is almost exactly what they say. Um, that's, that's New York City vernacular for, uh, can I have a moment of your time? Guardian, I greet you in the light. When we last saw us, I saw your potential. Now that you have returned, I see your resilience. Okay. We should learn from your example. We struggle to make a home under this endless night. Supplies spoil more quickly. The air reaches life from all we have. I have never seen corruption like this. It is unknown to me. When you are ready, I will guide you to where the Vex are most vulnerable. They are difficult to predict. They do not behave as they should. I think they guard powerful secrets. Tighten your gauntlet, and let us take them. My seasonal artifact. Not my artifact, my seasonal item. West side of the artifact, something else. Mythrax is pleased to see you return to continue the fight. He hopes his people will learn from your resilience, as adjusting to life in the city has been difficult for him. He has never seen anything like this endless night. It is as though air leeches from life from the city. Uh, the people of the city are under immense stress, he said, and he says he suspects the simulation is somehow bringing them as well. He guard powerful secrets to fight in the conflict. Hey, already counts. Already did that part. Next part. Launch the override. Samsung's dead. -ed. Chicago, mo you know, Chicago's a pretty cool city. I've been there once. I, I figured they got their they got their shit together. I was a little kid when I went there, but I remember liking it. Which is a high compliment, because I'm very picky with cities. Because I'm a absolutely snobbish. I have to edit myself so often. I'm like, nobody wants to hear, yeah, but New York's better, um, all the time and all the different ways, because that's how you lose friends. Um, but I'm definitely repressing that urge to compare it to my city. And I'd be like, my city's the best. So instead of going down to visit anybody, 
Uh, I think I don't even have to talk to Saladin. Yay! Screw you, Salami. That's my Iron Banner stuff. I'm uh, just going using my phone, using the uh, Destiny mobile app for a second. I'm not plugging anything. It's a free app that the um, the Destiny people made, and it's really cool because it, it just lets you um, it just lets you buy all your bounties without having to walk up to every single vendor in the game, which saves you load times and allows me to chat, and then you. You know, I also don't have to f physically talk to the drifter, and that is a huge plus. Cody, I can imagine. Less polite is probably why I like Chicago. I just sin. I. I had a friend telling me, he was like, New York City, people always get it wrong. Because we were talking about L.A. Um, and I also am not, I mean, like, I work in the entertainment industry. And you have to make a choice really, really on, are you going to try and make it in New York? Or are you going to try and make it in L.A.? And it is honestly easier to do it in L.A. because that's where the industry is. But, um, like, it's more the indie stuff and daytime television here in New York. Um... We got a lot of news. Um, but, uh, anyways, I forget my point. I forget what I was talking about. Doesn't matter. I'm buying bounties. I was talking about something. Fine. Oh, yeah, it was this thing my friend said about what New York City's like and the misconception that we're mean. I, we're rude, um, but the way the way we would put it, comparing it to LA, is uh, in New York City, uh, people aren't nice, but they're kind. And in LA, people are nice, but they aren't kind. That makes sense. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Uh, looks like the, the app froze on the last two bounties. Sorry, I did almost everything. Yeah, Boston, like, the people of Boston are cool. The city is a nightmare. Uh, I, having, I go there a lot for PAX East and also Pats from there, so I like dissing it. Um, such a bad friend. But he's not here. He's not even here. Yeah, Cody gets it. Don't drive in Boston. Try not to be in Boston for about... 60% of the year, too, because you will become an icicle. It's very cold in Boston. I mean, it, yeah, it's just ridic it's ridiculous, dicks. Which is ridiculous if you say it in a very stupid way. Um, so what did I do last week? I got through most of the stuffs, which was really cool. Um, I got the seasonal ritual pinnacle weapon here, Null Composure. Um, very cool. It's a lot like Loaded Question, which was the old one that I used to carry around, so now I have the ornament quests. I still have one ornament quest from, like, two seasons ago, because I hate using sniper rifles, and I have to do it in Crucible. Um... This is the weekly quest that I'm actually tracking. This is... I gotta go kill Guardians with this, the new seasonal pistol. And I'm not exactly looking forward to it. But thankfully, we can go do this. We can go do this bit now. Um, this is the seasonal device that I gotta go use. And then we'll launch override via the director. So I really... Here. Go here. I got my pinnacle so fucking fast. Alright, so we got unstoppable and anti-barrier fire pit. 
harder. Okay. Anti barrier and unstoppable. Get your wish, Bungie. I will use your your new damn weapon. Bastards. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I had there was no reason for me to do that. I specifically pulled up dim on my iPad so that I could just go here. Sometimes I don't pay attention to the things that I do, and it causes problems. You would think I'd be more attentive, but I'm kind of just floating through life vaguely aware. Which is nice. I highly recommend it. It's not good for being successful, but it is, you know, flexible. Cool, so I'm going to use Cryostasia, the sidearm... That'll be my unstoppable, and my anti-barrier will be my gnawing hunger. And now I should probably change all my other fucking mods. Um... Uh, nice thoughts, though, are There we go, Chief. Now you're thinking. No, I actually want rocket launcher ammo finder. Because everything else is going to be primary ammo. So let's make sure I can get some rocket launcher shit. Because we all want to blow stuff up, right? Get an amen. Amen. Um, don't want to add anything else. I just want that one ammo. I need to get off of recovery though, which is actually pretty good. Because then I can go that. Yeah, baby, that's better. Okay. Take charge, shield break, charge up. See how much work you gotta put into this game when you actually pay attention to it? Oy vey. Alright. I've got my recovery and super up, and my mobility ain't too bad. Uh, Cody, sorry, I just saw what you said, um, regarding, uh, do I still have necrotic grips? Yeah, of course. They're right here. Here be my poison gloves. Great. Sorry, I was just checking things out. Um, I use I use them specific. It's for a very specific build. You want to do it with stasis because of the range of melee. You're basically hurling ice bolts at people, which is, I mean, it's very convenient um, when your melee poisons people and all sorts of crazy shit, um, and your icicles explode and all sorts of cool stuff happens. Oh my god, there's stuff. So they re-enabled... So I got Glacial Harvest. I haven't... This is the new aspect, and I haven't messed with it yet. Um, you start dropping shards. 
and then it becomes it changes the gameplay so that you have to make sure you equip fragments that do stuff with shards uh like collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield so it's like combine that stuff that sounds pretty cool um right now i'm in a, like a slow grenade build just fun i got no problems Well, I might swap out my Frost Pulse for Glacial Harvest. That will make my healing... So right now, I do this thing when my healing rift goes out, it freezes everyone around me. Get out of here, fly. Um, anyways, y'all don't really care about me. So just, uh, talk to me while I shoot things. Let's go do this. I'm prepared correctly. Uh, this is this is the game for you then, Cody. This game is about being overpowered in like a dumb way, and people can forget that, and then they complain about it. They're like, "No, this game is broken," and I'm like, "No, you're just plain." Game's fine for superheroes. Look at me. I look like a fucking Power Ranger Transformer. That was the wind closing the door to the room, and that was the wind opening the door to the room. Um, my apartment is not haunted. I have a problem with right now, and the door's kind of closed because the lady person's in the other room working. We must spot. find a way into the Vex network, crush these soulless machines, and harvest face? their wires for data. How is your face for data? Yep, yeah, I'm okay with all that. Oh shit, I didn't even look up the seasonal activity for yet. So, you get weekly stuff to do, and I didn't bother checking. Big dum dum, the dumb face. Well, I did one of them. Nope, that was that was crap. Mithrax has located a back door to the Vex domain. Get your foot in that door and secure the data. Uh, cool. I'll help you, Jake. I don't need to do the thing, probably. It's like a champion here. I did all of week one stuff. Did I just see that one I'm playing with? Vex defenses have been reset, mind you. But like Honorary Jew. Welcome. That's quite a prize. No, we don't usually like handing that out because, I mean, we're suspicious of anybody that wants it. You want to be Jewish? Why? Have you seen our history? 
Can we tell you what comes along with the package? Oh, complicated politics. Yes. Very complicated. And also, occasional genocide. Where uh, you Why pick them up most of the time. Because the right down, are converging to but shut it down. Go to my Twitter account. I'm very political there. I'm as political as Greg, oddly enough. Greg is like. Don't let the machine spawn. He goes your nuts. Attention. Keep it fixed on the terminal. Um, people asking. I'll read your thing in a second, uh, Sin, but people asking about, um, Cyberpunk or whatever, when that is possibly coming back. <coughs> it's on hiatus. Kind of indefinitely, uh, cause we have one kid came and now we're waiting on the other one to show up and, uh, and that, that whole thing to get sorted out. Uh, no, I should read that thing. <laughs> yeah, you don't really wanna, um, the Los Angeles freeway is not something I would jaywalk. Personally. Call me crazy. Those are the shards. Turn them back to the shard, shard build. I'm gonna go shard myself. Sorry. So sorry, I'm so sorry. We got it. This is their last attempt to lock you out. The vortex is almost open. Distracted living. Just distracted driving. The driving is very important. Yeah. For us, complaining about mass transit is like kind of vital to our survival. Oh hey! Oh hey! The data you secure here will fuel research for decades to come. Get your war coat. Oh my god, the war is gone. It was good knowing you all. I almost made it. Did you see how close I was? Hey, pal. Super into Pokemon Go when it came out, and he kept trying to convince me to go do it. And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "But it's great. You get to meet people." I'm like, "That's the part I'm least interested in." Window into my life.
Wow, this dude's a dick. Keeps teleporting us out every phase. Don't like it. Shame you failed to heed more conventional wisdom. Such as? Cauterize all contact with the darkness, lest you risk infestation. Just because you can't see the shears, Osiris, doesn't mean I'm not pruning dead branches. I don't have a problem with the new Ikora Ray voice actor, she's fine. People are like, how do you feel about Gina Torres being gone? I feel like she had, like, I would rather have the character be active than not. What do I get here? Quick draw and thresh for a grenade launcher. That's pretty good. I don't care about you. I don't really care about you. Oh, Pokemon Go is still definitely a thing. Nope. That's the one. Okay. Here we go. Week two. Finish that thing. And... Kill champions. Destroy powerful Vex. Keep doing that thing. Alright, alright, alright. I can do this. I can do this. So boring. We have already surrendered oh, wow. too much. Now they Good want difference. more. Me, claw, medicine. People in the city need these things. We ask for no more than you can give. This endless night, it drains us. Our resources are spread too thin. What you give to them, you take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. Koro was firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. Our own people. Lakshmi was right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vex. To aid the Guardian. Same as you. Yes? Do not start with this. Tell me, Mithras. Were I in one of your cities? Would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. I see. <laughs> you are fighting for your people as I would fight for mine, yes? It is true. Split the supplies as Ikora says. Anything to make this false night pass more quickly. Goodbye, Saint. Goodbye, my friend. Interesting. Goodbye, Osiris.
Let's stay out here, warm, safe, inside high walls. But this endless night, it is like a weapon. It attacks the heart. An invisible foe sieges your people, so they look desperately for an enemy. And after so long with nothing, my people finally have something to lose. Please, Guardian, seize more data from the Vex, and let us shatter this foul night. This is literally one of the most sympathetic storylines they've had, and I'm so glad that they're doing this. The Fallen are great, and making they've slowly been making them more sympathetic, and now flat out making us save former enemies. I love it. This is the type of change I look for when I'm playing an MMO. Quest completed. Huzzah. Triumph completed. Yay, triumphs. I unlocked some stuff. So, these are like triumphs now. I gotta kill like a bunch of stuff. Let's check out this splicer arm. I guess that's part of an achievement, but that also probably. stuff off in the vault and figure out what my next food is. Oh, good place of that. Alright, so splicer, servitor bounties. I never even go back here yet, but I wanna check it out. Override the moon, I gotta do two more pinnacle gear. So these two are my prior are to my top priorities because they give me decrypted data, lore, and I mean I get a weapon. Um, so that's cool. That's what you want. That's the big stuff. But you want that decrypted data because that's like the seasonal currency. And then actually these two are the least important because all they do is just XP. Next you want to do D6 because you want to get that bright dust. Speaking of, let's check out the store. Metropolis. Myth. Yeah. Sweet area. Disinterest. Ornament for the last word. A gun I don't use. I kind of want to get the crow projection. kind of also want the clip, so that's a cool bike. It would tell me if I had it already. What's this? Velocimancer. Eh. Meh. I like that. Birds, man. I need to make a supply run back to the shore for some spare parts. But I have so many cool looking sparrows already. I, yeah, I am not compelled. I will save. I will save my precious bright dust for other things. What's it? 
grid skipper energy weapon. What we got here? A pulse rifle with killing wind and multi kill clip. Do I have a different grid skipper in here? I don't like multi kill clip, but I like the other one, killing wind. Sad face, I'm probably not going to use my thorn for a while. So no necrotic grips are going to be used, but anyways. Um, that makes sense. So I guess I should do more override stuff. If I want, if I'm working through challenges. Kill champions and powerful decks. The more I use my auto rifle, the better I am. Which makes me wonder for a moment. Oh, not the post box. I might grab an extra weapon and, and be silly in this game. This round. And do something, do something weird. I'm gonna get real wild. I'm gonna get weird with it. Sweet business. And I'll find my my brass attacks. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I made it out. We're gonna use some sweet business. For auto rifle. I mean, that's the thing I'll say. I'll say that in public. I don't give a fuck. I am... I don't want to say notorious, but... Uh, prone? No, known for? I say inappropriate things. Enough so that I have to be warned by friends and family alike. Like, you can't... None of your bullshit right now. What bullshit? Blink, 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 puppy eyes. Um, yeah, we're fine with that. We're fine with that. Let's do more override. Silly friends trying to talk to me via the phone. Don't you know I'm on the internet hanging out with strangers playing video games? I mean, you're not really strangers. A lot of you, the ones in the chat at this point, just like internet people. But my internet people. The transmog system is pretty brutal to grind. Uh, I think we're all strange. That's good. It's a good thing. Keep it weird. I unlock some triumphs here. So what did I unlock? I got a crucifix. 
little thing. Gambit. Oh, hey, look at that. That's cool. We must find a way into the Vex network. Crush these soulless machines <laughs> and harvest their Probably. wires for data. Yeah, I was gonna say, minus the clippings, which is my cat, you can't, I can't get him to sit down for that. Sweet business. your face's passcode to get deeper access to your mom so sorry everybody To no one, Max dishing out hot smack talk but like to no can one. Be overloaded. Continue the assault. My data spike. Not your data spike, my data spike. I push the button.
what happened, I just started firing. And I never stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> what a death. <laughs> As I died, flailing uncontrollably into the void. teleport.
like you. Don't like you. Still don't like you. Third time. Once more. I got the data spike. I pushed the button. has feelings. At least he's using his words and not his spikes. Grid Skipper. That's a mu that's a very good grid skipper. Killing wind snapshot sights. I don't need you. Just you and me, Thunder Blunt. Not the burping, but that that flashing thing happens. But also, excuse me for burping. Defeat the Minotaur boss in Override and defeat powerful Vex. But I have been doing that. You should be further along because I want, I want you to be. But I really want this thing to finish up. Then maybe I'll check other stuff out. I just go get my face smacked in Iron Banner. I don't enjoy life. No, because I need to. I want to get rid of these fucking catalyst quests. I gotta kill 50 guardians, and then 46 guardians with the Tiku's divination, which is not fun PvP. It's not a PvP weapon. I don't like that they make these mandatory requirements in there. For every weapon, for every catalyst, it's not fun. Um, they really need to do what they've been doing with other stuff. Um, like the ritual weapon, and just let you kind of pick what you play. But that's me backseat developing like every other Destiny player, so. What else? What do I know? The Vex are not a destructive rabble like the Fallen. They have much to teach. I am here to guarantee that we learn what we can. Yes, yes, Abbasaral, I mean, like. Now this relaxed me. simulations this isn't even like they aren't real hive they're vex programmed version
they're like, yeah, I can't believe it's not butter. Destroyed Vax the right source of data. Pretty sure Machine spawns an action figure that, like, is part of Todd McFarlane's spawn line. You know, he did, like, Accountant spawn, Janitor spawn, French spawn. There was definitely a Machine spawn that he made. He probably called it, like, a Mobo spawn or something like that. But it would be cool if there was actually a Machine spawn action figure and I was, my bullet was that dead on. Do not worry yourself over the fuck, they feel no pain. Crazy eggs and change the locks on them before they leave. I don't know where this shit comes from, people. Desperate cry for help. Well, can't jump. No, why would I think that? Why would I try that? Vortex gathers energy. Moving from potential to potential. Your splice gives completion. The network bends to your will. It cannot resist for much longer. I don't like how alive you all are. I don't like how you all are. That's better.
got a lot of that guy. Yo, bro. That would be someone using Tiku's divination. While it's crap in PvP, it's pretty damn good at PvE. Tastes like oil. The vortex is almost manifest. The subjugated mind will soon be revealed. Next week we meet Dom Mine. And then we meet the Switch Mine. Sorry. Making it weird. This is the breakthrough. Future war court has already streamed up. It could give us an edge in the coming battle against the darkness. No, no, this is going so bad for me. Hey, I live. That was pretty good for me. I did the thing! Did the other thing! to believe. Why, Robin? I know you were doing the Matrix, but I wanted to hook. They're similar lines. They're delivered very differently. What one is in awe, you know, from Lawrence Fishburne, and then the other ones just like said adorably by some kids.
Battleground felt just like really messy and structured. Like fun plot wise, I really liked everything going on with the Cabal and titles. But this is a much more well developed. Hopefully we can end this threat before Lakshmi whips the city into a violent frenzy. The yes, latest Newark. reports. Newport. Spying on the people of the last city. Look at you. Acting as the devil you know. A good leader uses all available tools to stay one step ahead of any threat. You taught me that. Gear up keep, the best part of destiny that everybody likes watching. Oh, hold on, what's the spread here? Aha, uh -huh. intellect, so I'll just switch you over to Where am I at? Uh, what the shit? Oh wow, so close. So I should probably do one more overload. Um, this is, looks like it's just gonna take a while. Holy fuck, that's gonna take a while. All right, yeah. Some of this stuff is just gonna take time because a lot it's relying on random drops to happen. Which is very bungee of them. How bungee of them. A new winter's guile, you say? There's missions I gotta go pick up from the lady over here. Elsie Bray. Also, are the simulations still dropping pinnacles every week? Let's just do the Vanguard. Because my god, I don't care. I can't with the other stuff. Of course, you have stayed this melee final blows, which is just the worst. Uh, the more I hear about everything going on with Europa, the angrier I get with these rogue guardians. We need to be doing everything we can to keep our numbers steady. We can't afford recklessness right now. I should be more sympathetic, I guess. strikes in override so that specifically oh wow I just have to place they just want you to play so much override right now well let's do it all right more override I hope you all are enjoying the seasonal activity because the game wants me to enjoy it too I'm enjoying it it's I'm a me
I at least want to get, like, before I, 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 you know, call the stream and go get a snack or something, I at least want to get one of these. Mm -hmm. I need to complete weekly challenges within an hour and a half of starting the new week. Literally, I have a, I launched this stream I haven't played. This is me starting weekly reset. I'm complaining about almost being done with stuff that the Gunji intends for you to do all week. The Vex network is a sprawling digital meta-consciousness. Uh, and like a human mind, it can be manipulated. Here I'm destined for failure. Deal with the vex 
But keep one eye on the terminal. Look at my cool weird face. Delightful number of grenades. Gotta love Sing. They really did go all out bringing back uh, characters. They pay, they pay for a lot of voice acting. That's all I'm saying. Which is unusual for a season. Usually it focuses on like one or two NPCs, and then the other ones like in here with them. Like, I don't have anything to do to say about I this emergency. Feel the Vex mind stirring. It is aware of your presence. Prepare for its violence. Silence is violent. DJ Dad Sandals. I like that guy. What is happening? Where am I going? What is... What is happening? I just flew off to the side. Welcome to Destined for Failure, a Twitch stream where physics happens. This must be the subjugated mind. Crush this poor machine so we can leave this hideous place. Yeah, I gotta look cool once. That's all that matters, right, Nimble? Okay. It's my teammates pushing me.
give me money. Just give me rewards. You are manipulated back data as you would in your light. This is the power of the sacred splicer. You did well, but never forget. You're a guardian first. Your power is a gift from the traveler, not the fall. Right, I've heard them have this one. The saint speaks the truth. All hail the great. All hail the great machine. Let's go to my. Let's go to, to my helm. And then I think I, I do also have to go to the tower. All right. Let's check to see how I'm doing. Well, that all worked out pretty good. Catalyst quest boost. I'm happy about that. Crack one more chest and seven more engrams. 60% done there. That's good. I did better this time. I'm actually burning my way through a bunch of those. That's um, encouraging. That one, that one shouldn't count because... Oh no, it, it counted. All right, let's so just open more umbral, umbral engrams. Like that one. See, that's a better grid skipper roll. I like that. Feeding Frenzy Rampage. That sounds very good. Let's masterwork you try it out. Clearly, I have the resources. Ba bam. All right, so you're gonna be my auto rifle for a minute. Um, rampage that. Yeah, I've been enjoying the way Jackarina makes weapons look. All right. my auto rifle right now. Don't need you. We'll leave that as is. Let's check my other winter sky. Oh, you're worse. 62 versus 65. Tempest, what is up? I just saw your comments. Um, welcome, welcome. I love this season. I mean, transmog is transmog. Yeah, it's it's grindy and annoying, but it's um, oh, man, it's the activity is great. The People that they're bringing back is great. I mean, it sucks that they had to recast Ikora, but I would rather have the character in it than not. Vanity is the ultimate endgame. People mock me for my my love of the fashions, but like, check this out, Tempest. Minus minus the uh, bond. I mean, here are, here are the boots, but um. I got, like, nearly a complete raid armor set. I love this shit. And I turned them into ornaments, so anything can look like the raid armor. This is the... And I didn't wear... I wasn't wearing them before. Your 
your game launch on Steam? Congratulations, Tempest. Plug your game. Tell me about it. Everybody, Tempest made a game on Steam. People of the last city. Ooh, I fought. Commander Zavala and I have been touched by the generosity and kindness you've shown toward our new Elixni neighbors. We also understand oh, the reluctance the some have shown game. toward That's their awesome, resettlement. Tempest. To those who mistrust our arrangement, let me remind you that this very city was founded by refugees. We sought shelter not only from alien aggressors, but from other humans. The bandits and warlords that profited from our suffering. So it is with the Elixni. For the first time in our shared history, we need the Elixni, and they need us. Together with Mithrax and his sacred splicers, we can end the endless night. But only if we stand united for the betterment of all. You tell him, girl. I hope everybody paid attention. Check it out if you want. Or don't. Boy, I have worked on projects long enough, Tempest, that I know that feeling. Like, I, I used to work on a TV show, and people would be like, Oh, TV show, that's so cool. I'm like, yeah, watch it. Or not. It's all cool. Um, fine. We gotta talk about it now. Yay, I can buy one thing. Hours. I was another man once. Thank you very much, Lee Sir Tempest. Enjoy thyself. Specifically focused on decrypt season of the splicer. Let's make it happen. Oh no, it counted. Eleven. Alright, so four more Umbral Engrams. Sometimes that game can be really, really finicky. Okay, there's the seasonal armor. That's the last piece I needed. Now I have the full seasonal armor set, which is cool. Um... I think I decided I wanted to go arc for Lightkin. I did. I'm now hitting the end game point where I'm making my energy types on all my armors match. That's that's the level of nerd I'm at right now. And I think I also saw my artifact went up. I did. What do I want next? These are all cool, but they're not like. Void melee stuns unshielded combatants. Our grenades and disrupt combatants. I use one mine cells. I think I kind of like that one.
tower. Master Rahul, aka the Cryptark. I may call this a shorter session right now and uh, come back later and do some stuff. But I did want to check out the weekly reset. I'm already doing really well as far as making progress through my seasonal challenges. Mid range calibration is. Doing okay. Doing okay. When you whisper to the void, does it whisper back? No? For me either. Great, just great. It's still loading in. I can't access it. Is sad. So very, very sad. What do I gotta do? What's this bounty again? You're like, you can't tell me because you don't know anything because you're loading. Ah! Oh. This tower doesn't want to be a tower. this whole loading into the tower thing again. Bungo. Looks like we're having connectivity issues. On Destiny's end. Everything seems fine on the stream. This is not just a blank screen. My monitor is covering the loading animation. So you're looking at me instead of like swirly symbols. So how's everybody going? How's everybody's day? Everybody's kind of told me how their day is. So I'm repetitive. If there's anybody new in the chat that wants to chat, say hello. While I wait for this game to do something. Alrighty, this is cool. We're gonna try changing what just happened. Okay, there we go. Orbit. Let's try this again. Hey, I remember to bring the game back before I played for like 20 minutes. So, that's awesome. Stunned cats are good. Strikes. Void damage. So that means stays in subclass. Hey, your thing I can. Your return honors me, Guardian. Why, Guardian? I was wondering. skill with light a gift from the old traditions see good thing there's always a fucking iron banner seasonal quest uh, get arc or void ability final blows very smart the quest doesn't want you to 
use stasis and being like, hey, people, stop using stasis so much in PvP because our PvP hardcore people are whining. So, fine. Um, I think I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna go to orbit. And, uh, we're just about at the two hour mark, so, uh, I'm gonna call kind of a shorter stream right now. Um, I'll probably be back on later tonight. It's about 4.30 where I'm at right now. Um, I might play more Destiny. I might boot control up. I might just. Um, and XCOM is still very much on the list. And Cyberpunk 2077 is as well. I'm just waiting for, like to get patched um but anyways thanks everybody for watching as usual and hopefully i'll see you next time